I actually almost broke my nose doing this. Yeah, way. I'm gonna put this in scary and impressive while you tell the story. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Valley Rain. Today we are coming to you with yet another tier list. Another day, another tier list. You know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> and today we are going to be ranking Padada steps. What even is ballet without Padada? Padada is such an important and integral part of classical ballet. And Padada is honestly kind of in its own separate category. It has its own set of steps, its own sort of vocabulary. Padada is like a big milestone for the young dancer. It's Definitely. Like point shoes is the first milestone. For sure. <laughs> and then after that, it's partnering, you know? Yeah. So so it's a really important part of your, like the dancer's development for both the men and for the women. However, that is not to say that we don't have some favorite steps and also some not so favorite steps. So if you're ready to hear our very subjective opinions about all of these different pattern of steps, then uh, tap the like button and keep on watching. While we're on the topic of favorite things, we want to thank one of our very favorite jewelry brands, Anna Luisa, for partnering with us on today's video. They so very kindly sent us some of our new favorite jewelry pieces yeah. ever, <laughs> including the initial necklaces. <gasps> Anna Luisa's pieces are so beautiful and timeless and classy, and their pieces perfectly suit both of our personal styles, even though they do differ quite a bit. I've been really loving their simple gold chain jewelry because I love to layer different pieces and the different textures. I, I think it creates a really cool effect, yeah. and I feel very elegant and put together. Multi-dimensional. Multi-dimensional, <laughs> that's a good word. I love pieces that are subtle and the, like just the small things that work together to enhance an outfit. Mm -hmm. I love the tiny details that aren't too obtrusive, and Anna Luisa absolutely does that as well. They even have pieces on their website. If you like a much bolder look, they have pieces like that as well. Yeah, their jewelry is so universal. I think they do a really good job of suiting so many different people's personal styles while maintaining yeah. their classic elegance and the timeless nature of their pieces. All our jewelry pieces have gone through very intensive strength and humidity testing. Their jewelry is tarnish resistant and is allergy free quality over quantity. We love it. Always. <laughs> and we are pretty much 100% confident that you will <laughs> find something on that website that you absolutely love and that reflects your uniqueness and your personal sparkle. It is so, so important to embrace your uniqueness and to really, truly love and appreciate yourself. And we want to encourage you to surround yourself with things that make you happy and things that you find beautiful. And Anna Luisa also encourages you to do the same. And they are generously offering you not to 15, not 20, but 25% off. So click the link in our description box below if you would like to get your own jewelry that enhances your natural beauty and reflects your own personal style. Again, 25% off and it will be going fast. So go while there is time. Consider this your happy Valentine's Day gift from us and Anna Luisa. Make sure you click the link in the description box. And of course, thank you very much to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. It's a joy and pleasure to work with you as always. And happy Valentine's Day from us and the Valley Rain team. We have the tier list here. We're ready to go. We have, I think, 26 Potter steps here. Some of them are like pretty basic, like Potter technique class work steps and some of them are kind of very niche lifts and tricks and stuff that are taken from classical rep. So I guess it's kind of obvious, but this is obviously from the girl's perspective. We're not going to know oh, what it's yeah. like from the guy's perspective. For sure. Yeah. For, um, for the guy that might be a different tier list. Yeah, exactly. Altogether. And the tiers that we're going to be sorting these steps into are starting at the top. Exquisite because exquisite. <laughs> Scary, but impressive. Staple step. What if I could? Not the best. And terrible. I love that we go from like, oh, you know, it's a staple and like, oh, I would if I if I could do it. And yeah. then, uh, not the best. And we have terrible. terrible. <laughs> it's just this huge jump. <laughs> we go from not the best to like, Terrible! Yeah. Rock bottom, everybody. Let's As always, subjective it. opinions. You're also subjective. Your favorite you ballet nerds on the internet are here with their subjective opinions ready to go. Let's do it. Starting with the first one. Berets. Um... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is the first one. I kind of wish I could like it better. Not the best. That's my first thing. Not the I best. would say, I think it's a staple step. I don't think that. Not the best. <laughs> 
The thing is, borets aren't even like a hard step. You're, you're doing your borets, right? And then he's pulling you and you gotta go as fast with your little feet to yeah. keep up with him. Being pulled by the hand is easier than being pulled at the waist. Cause then when you have the hand, he can feel you better. Right. I don't like being pulled or pushed in my borets. <laughs> I will bore when I'm ready to bore, okay? So not the best or uh, staple. Cause it is a staple. Like I think almost every putter has borets in it. It does. <sighs> But no, it should go in staple. It goes in staple step. It is a staple it's step. A st it is a staple step. Yeah, objectively, it's a staple step. It is a staple step. Okay, moving on. Grand jeté en tournant lift. What if I could 100%? What if I could? I love how this lift looks yeah. when done right. And Just honestly, it's not a hard step either. It's a pretty basic lift. However, however it feels so awkward. I have never been able to do that lift without looking awkward. <laughs> okay. Thankfully, I've never kicked or hit my partner doing this step, but every single time I'm like prepare for it, I feel like I'm going to hit or kick him. And it's like not a good feeling. And it, I like dread the day where I actually do. <laughs> it's tricky because you're starting on one side of him you have to run past him and still give him enough time to get under you so you don't continue traveling past him. Yeah. It's a whole balance that needs to happen and yeah. it's just it's just awkward, that's all. Yeah. Next up, Adagio. Staple step. Definitely a staple step. There's not Pretty much Except for Flames of Paris. There's not a potter without some adagio, mm -hmm. like developes and things in it. It's a staple, that's all. Yeah. It's tricky. But I like adagio, so like I love the slow pas de deux. Yeah. Those are my favorites. Anything where you get to do arabes planches and développés. Mm -hmm. I would say without a doubt, though, it's easier to do a Dagio partner, obviously, because yeah, it's fun. He's there to support you and help you. And also, it makes it more enjoyable. It feels more beautiful. It when you feels have a more beautiful, you know. <laughs> Pirouettes, staple. Staple. As these staple. are all staple steps. These are a lot of these are staple steps. Pirouettes. Yeah. I don't think there's a single pas de deux that's happened without a pirouette in it. Yeah. Pirouettes are fun with the partner. Mentally, it's harder because you're thinking of another person. I think learning it, especially coming from like a classical training where you know, first position was here. Yeah. Learning pirouettes to do your arms crossed. That was yeah. the most disorienting thing. Learning that's, pirouettes with a partner. True. That was the hardest thing. Now I know in the balancing technique, it, they, they, they practice their pirouettes here all the time. Mm -hmm. But in like the English training and like in the ABT training and like Russian training, it's like first position for your pirouettes alone. And then for your pirouettes with another person, you gotta bring your arms in. Right. And for some reason, it just feels weird. It does feel weird, but it's very important so you don't yeah, hit him. So you don't so hit him. <laughs> everything has to be tucked in a little bit tighter. But yeah, pirouettes are a staple step. Yeah. It, it, it's like anything, it takes time to master, but it's not hard to master it because it's like literally in every single pot it's, of it. It's not hard. You'll have many opportunities to practice. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Okay, the trust dive TM. <laughs> um, I'm bordering between scary and impressive or exquisite, but, but it, I think it's more scary yeah. <laughs> than impressive. There are many different kinds of trust dives. There's some in The Dream, there's some mm -hmm. in Don Q, there's some in Chike Pa as well. Mm -hmm. It's scary, it is scary. It is scary. But the thing with the trust dive, you can't be scared, otherwise it won't work. Yeah. But it's a scary step. So you really have to throw caution to the wind and just go for it, yeah. but it takes all of your will to not be scared of it. Next up, the T lift. This lift is usually accompanied with like a spin or something. This one is, it's fine. It's fun. For the girl, it's easy. You're just on his shoulders chilling. It's not very popular. Like I, I can mm -hmm. think of only a handful, like Dances at the Gathering, Voices of Spring. Yeah. A few other very, very niche, <laughs> niche potters. Yeah. Definitely more of like, a, it's not less, contemporary, but like less classical. The more modern side of classical ballet. Exactly. Like you wouldn't see this in a Swan Lake or a Sleeping Beauty, mm -hmm. for instance. Never. No. Not a staple step. It's not the best. I think there are prettier lifts. Yeah, to there be are honest, there are, there are prettier lifts. It's, it's definitely not terrible. It's no, like, it's just no. Meh, whatever. So not the best. I guess is kind of neutral. PK on de or it's a staple step for me. Okay, yeah, it is a staple step. It <laughs> takes a lot of coordination on his part and yeah. also her part because he has to predict where you're going to step on your first step and where you're going to step for your second step. Because mm -hmm. there's two steps for a PK yeah. on de or. So he has so. to like catch you, so you like step in mm -hmm. as you go into it mm -hmm. at the exact right time and be in the exact right place. So exactly. So the guys have to try and predict where you're going to be and girls, you just got to be super predictable. Takes time, practice. Yeah. But it is a staple yeah. step. Counts as a staple it step. It is a staple step. The angel lift! Exquisite! Exquisite! This is Exquisite. my favorite lift. Magic. This is my favorite lift. So beautiful. I love it. No words. Swoons. So <laughs> this one is both fun and beautiful. It's gorgeous. 
It makes you feel ethereal, dramatic, dramatic, angelic, if you it, will. It, it's, exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's exquisite. No other words. It's, it, it's just fabulous. There's nothing just like, and you just uh, like fly. It's so good. Beautiful. No, it's it's it, it's exquisite. It's beautiful. No other comment. Highly recommend. Waltz turn. Exquisite. Yeah, Gorgeous. they're exquisite. You don't get to do them a whole lot yeah. in ballet rap, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But when you do, it feels like you're in a merry-go-round, and it's just the funnest thing in the whole world. You will see it in see. the ball scenes more often. Like in the Merry Widow, I think yeah. they pretty end, like La Valse, you oh, know, yeah, like those Valse. waltzy era pieces. And that kind of goes for like any kind of character step mm -hmm. the mazurka, the polonaise, anything like that with a partner. Matchless. Exquisite. It's so much fun. And it's like easy, so it's like you don't have to think, you just get to smile at your partner and just go. It's, I mean, you always so have fun. to think. It's ballet, you're always thinking. But like, that's a given. Comparatively. Comparatively. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing like waltzing on the stage the lights are dramatic oh. it's all dark you're in a sparkly costume a sparkly and ball you're just gown like, <laughs> just like across the floor if you want the ultimate like royalty vibes oh my gosh it makes you feel all so of that <laughs> it's so good it's so special finger turn i like finger turns actually not as much as whip turns. not as much as whip They're turns like, though staple step it's a staple step still ah, no it's a staple step but well, like Wait, okay, we'll put it on the low end of staple it step. It should be in staple step, but then Boris should go down. To I like adagios and pirouette. I think I'd put yeah. finger turns before <laughs> PK on day or. Okay, okay. I think. Yeah, I, I like finger turns. Yeah. Finger turns are pretty fun. They're pretty fun. If your partner's taller than you. That's that's key. That's key. That if, is key. If he's shorter than you, then it's very, very, very difficult because yeah. he's, he's naturally not going to be able to get his hand right, right over, over your, your head. head. You're kind of backwards a little bit. Provided that you have a, you know, a tall enough partner, finger yeah. turns are great. Yeah, They're finger great. turns are fun. Promenade. Oops. I like promenade. They're a staple step. It's, it's, a nothing, staple it's nothing step. exciting. It's nothing exciting special per se yeah it, it's nothing exciting it's a staple step though uh i put yeah. it uh before pirouette eh, before actually pirouette. no pirouettes are funner let's put it there that's fine yeah promenades they yeah. have a lot of room for interpretation you yeah. can do a promenade in pretty much any position that's true my favorite is um swan lake when she's in that big ponche like this yeah and all the way around. it's just i love those it's lovely the pot of Lift like that, um, ballot tape. <laughs> Envelope tape, <-tay>, devil. Terrible! <laughs> Terrible! <laughs> Terrible! I do not like this lift. I don't think it looks pretty. It doesn't make you feel pretty. Okay, there are some where it's pretty if it were low. Like in the two pigeons. Yeah! In the two pigeons, it's not bad. But in Pada's glove, specifically, that height. That height, I just don't like the position up here with your legs. I just don't like how it looks. You don't give the audience a very good view either. It's not beautiful. <laughs> In our subjective opinions, it is not beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill us in the comments, please. Don't kill us in the comments. The fish dive. A staple. I like the fish dive. Yeah. It's, it's a classic. It's pretty mainstream, this it's one. A, like, yeah. it, when you get a book at the library about, like, about ballet, and when they talk about Potter Dutt, this is like the cover photo of yeah. like the Potter Dutt <laughs> chapter. Here's the thing when I was a young student, I thought that the fish dive was the hardest lift there was. I know, because right? Because of those library books. Because <laughs> they would always say, you know, the, the fish, fish dive is one of the most advanced partnering techniques that you can learn. Oh. First part of the class, they're like, we're going to learn we're the fish, fish dive. dive. And I was like, oh! <gasps> you realize it's actually not that hard. For the yeah. girl. He's got you like For the this. girl. It's he not that bad. Straight over. Um, uh, I'm kind of, I'll, I'd put it in staple step. It's would you fine. put it over berets at least? Or okay, yeah, I'd put it, I'd put it up. After pirouette. I think it looks impressive. My favorite is that one from Chaikpa, where it looks like she's levitating, because like oh. he has her like this. Okay, yeah. I love how that looks. I think if it's a fish dive, like in Grand Pas Classique, where she goes down and up right away. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, like yeah, it yeah. better. So you like the movement. Movement. The verb rather than the noun. Yeah, the fish dive <laughs> verb rather than fish dive noun. Okay. It is a staple step, though. Yeah. Angel lift with the developer. Exquisite. Exquisite. All kinds of angel lifts, honestly. Exquisite. Yeah, I put it here. Th these are both angel lifts, but the one with the developer, your weight is in a completely different place. Also, than his the other hand one. placement's different. Yeah, for the regular angel lift, his hands are quite like, like higher here. up, like on your mid back. Yeah. For the angel lift with the developer, his hands are in your waist slash, like your upper hip area. Yeah, because he has to get 
Yeah, you, and you're upside, all the way down. upside down. Yeah, it's scarier. It's scarier for sure getting up there. But once you feel like that equilibrium kind of settle in, like you feel the balance kind of happen, mm -hmm. then it's not so bad. I think it looks very impressive. It, it looks, looks gorgeous. beautiful. It's dramatic. It, it's, it's it's dramatic. dramatic. I think I think that, that sort of is our exquisite category. It's all the dramatic ones. Yeah, <laughs> I love this lift in the Swan Lake, like the final Potter. Oh yeah. That's Anyways. So I love that one. The shoulder sit. It's not the best. Not the but best. But it's a staple at the same time. So I don't know where to put this guy. Let's put it in not the... No, because it can look pretty majestic. This is one of the first lifts that you learn in partnering yeah. classes. It's a safe lift. It's easier objectively for both the girl and the boy. So it is definitely one of like the more basic lifts and it is pretty popular, but it's not the best of them. Not saying that we don't like it, but it's not the best of them. Yeah. One-handed promenade. What it's a could? staple. <laughs> <laughs> They're everywhere. They are a staple. They are very challenging for both partners, but for the girl keeping that position yeah. and or changing the position and making it harder with every single rotation. It's tricky. <laughs> yeah, one-handed stuff in general is hard. It's like hard. Hand to hand, like one hand, one hand. It's difficult. We've talked about this in our Rosadage video, but keeping that shoulder in position, not letting him go ahead of you or like you get ahead of him. It's a whole thing. What if I could? Yeah. I just don't like it. And it's that part of the padada that you just kind of dread, you know? Especially because it happens a lot of time near the end of the padada and that shoe's already starting to die underneath you. You don't yeah. want to stay up there yeah. for another 48 yeah. counts. So. I put it in what if I could. Yeah. I think it's a very impressive, but it's never my favorite thing to do. The torch lift. Scary but impressive. <laughs> Scary but impressive. I think it's um, even scarier than the trust dive. Especially <laughs> one-handed torch lift. It's uncomfortable. It's scary. It's hard for both partners. You know. I it's... would say objectively, it's an awkward lift. For sure. You... And it's just the, the nature of the step is the... very uncomfortable it's, it's, and awkward. It's strange. Yeah. But it's very impressive yeah. because he's literally holding you up with one hand. One hand. <laughs> and, and in spring waters, he's like running off the stage. Running. 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 <laughs> Scary but impressive. Scary but impressive. Yeah. Whip turn. Yeah. Exquisite. Exquisite. These are one of my favorites. Whip turn. Another one of my favorites. Woo! Where would you put it? Uh, not not uh, at the end. I, I love whip turns. I love whip turns. They're because fun. Because they feel like you can go forever. Whip turns are, are impressive. They're fun. And yeah. it's just it's just great. For our non-dancers, the difference between a finger turn and a whip turn, they look similar because your leg is doing the same movement. Yes. But for a finger turn, the whole turn you're holding onto his finger. Whereas for a whip turn, you start the same way, but before you turn, you he'll have, open he, your he arm takes to your the arm side. to the second. And then as you start the turn, he'll shift his hands from your hands to your waist. Exactly. So it'll be like this and he'll like take uh, And take you just you go around. The and then you just <laughs> Yeah, whip turns you can definitely turn faster than a finger turn. Finger turn you had to take definitely take it slower, just the nature of the step. But whip turns, yeah, sign me up. It's fabulous. The other angel lift, exquisite, exquisite. We this love one angel is, lifts. I guess so. <laughs> All the variants of the angel lift. It we might go love. in. It might go in scary but impressive because it is scary. Yeah, nah, it's exquisite. It's still exquisite it though. She looks Who am I kidding? I would even put it before Angel of a Devil Pike. Yeah, I think so. I like it better for the just the aesthetics of it. The aesthetics are very pretty. You it's can also ethereal. like look down at him. He's looking at you. So you have that like connection. Yeah. It's dreamy. It's as close as you can get to flying. I know. So beautiful. It makes you feel like you're really just like levitating over the ground and it's fabulous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Ah! gorgeous. It's fabulous. Antichakat. Not the best. Forgive me, I just don't like Anshakats a whole lot. They're not the prettiest, that's all, for me. I feel neutral about it. I'll put I'll put it up. Oh, no, we'll keep shoulder sit. I think I might even like shoulder sit better than T-Lift. I think so too. Yeah, because yeah, the, shoulder sit is- They're a classic. Yeah, I still respect exactly. the shoulder lift. It's just not the best. Yeah. And I still yeah. respect the T-Lift and the Anshakats. So yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Anshakats, I think- I think that's one of the only things in ballet where I didn't really got. Why like, would you beat your legs? <laughs> what's so beautiful about that? Like, yeah, I know it's like physically like a very impressive feat to mm -hmm. be able to cross your legs X amount of time. So let us know in the comments. We'd be very curious to hear your opinions on Antichakat, Antichasis, etc. We respect the Antichakat, Antichasis, Antichakat, whatever, but it's not the best. Subjectively. Subjectively. The bluebird lift. Oh, exquisite. exquisite. I love the bluebird lift. Especially, this one makes you feel pretty as well. Especially from uh, La Bayadere, that moment. It's beautiful. I'd put it before whip turn. But like when she's on his shoulder and she does this whole... 
Dang. Oh, they're everywhere. I love the bluebird lift. I love that we call it the bluebird lift, but it's literally everywhere it's, else. It's everywhere, but it just got the title the bluebird lift. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was the first appearance of that lift. Mm -hmm. And it went viral in the ballet world. And I guess so. Now it. everybody does the bluebird lift. Yeah. It's also in Pada's club. Even uh, Coppelia Pada, she does this beautiful. Yeah, there's lots of different kinds of ways you can interpret this lift. So it's very versatile. So it I think it's a very good step and it fits in a lot of different contexts and a lot of different pieces. The helicopter lift, TM. I actually almost broke my nose doing this Yeah, lift. I'm gonna put this in scary and impressive while you tell the story. I was 14. You I was were little. I was a little Imagine girl. baby eating. Baby eating, 14 years old. <laughs> First helicopter lift, it was in a piece. We learned the piece and I think we had a parent showing. So we were at the parent showing and during this helicopter lift, it was a helicopter lift, which is basically a big throw. Your leg goes round his head. Yeah. He catches you in a fish. Exactly. And you go down. But it was supposed to be a really low fish. Yeah. And um, my back strength wasn't quite enough to hold me up. Yeah. And I smashed my nose on his knee <laughs> going down. So she went up, her leg went around his head. She came down, but then at the end it was like, and I thought I was going to start bleeding during like, the parent I, observation. I, I, I was like, oh, 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 this is this is how it ends. I was legit waiting for the me blood to, just yeah. to start I was, pouring. I thought I was gonna get a nosebleed in the middle of the parent oh observation. Oh my goodness! Like, and I, I genuinely thought I had broken my nose until yeah. the end of the piece when I realized, oh, I'm. It's fine. still there. We're good. We're good. It's still it, there. It's okay. It was bruised for like a few days afterwards. <laughs> 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 yeah, but anyway, that was that was that. Scary. I think it's less scary than the torch lip, though. I don't like it as much as a. Trust I, but I like I it better than the torch lift. But part of what makes it scary for to dance is that the fact that he's throwing you, you lose contact yeah. with his hand, and you're just suspended in air for like a second or two. Throws are always like a. It makes you go like. <laughs> A little, yeah, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little scary, but it's cool. It is cool, it's and cool. it definitely has that wow factor for the audience. The dip. Yeah, I would almost put this in exquisite. I think it's very dramatic for the drama. For the drama, it's such a simple thing. Though. It is extremely simple. I it's, feel like again it, one of the first partnering steps that you learn, if not the first. If not the first, right, it can be interpreted as something that's very flashy, very extravagant. It can also be just like the most heart wrenching, tragic thing as well. So it's very versatile in that way. Staple step or exquisite? I don't know. What do we do? Uh, I don't know. I can't decide. If we objectively look at the step, it is objectively a staple a step. A staple step for sure. It's beautiful though. Where would you put it above though? Above Adagio. High on the staple High step. High on the staple step. I love the classic, classic dip. It's just so... There's nothing like it. You can see it pretty much anywhere. It's but everywhere, but it's I love that it can be like interpreted in so many different ways and yeah. you can adopt so many different emotions and characters yeah. on top of it. As long as you don't baptize the sandwich. Yeah, don't, don't baptize the sandwich! <laughs> Two hands or one hand. Or one <laughs> hand. <laughs> don't baptize the sandwich. No baptizing sandwiches, okay. <laughs> All right. The assemble lift. <laughs> Exquisite! I love this step so much. This one would go after waltz. Maybe here. Uh, maybe there. Maybe there. That one is fun. It's like a roller coaster almost. Yeah. It has that same sort of like, woo! It is so cool. It's I so fun. I absolutely love that particular assembly lift. It has your velocity through the air. You're moving very fast. You move very, through very the air. quick. It's really cool. And it looks impressive. It looks exciting. Mm -hmm. It's not incredibly hard no. for you or your partner. It's in more... terms of like skill versus like wow factor. It's yeah. like low risk, high reward. Exactly. Kind of <laughs> exactly what it is. The grand jeté lift. What if I could? What? I was gonna say exquisite. Okay, do, okay, I'm probably thinking of the slow ones. Oh! You know when you're like... Oh, yeah, okay. And then you land an arabesque. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was, I was talking about the throw one. Oh! So which okay, one yeah. are we talking about Throw here? one would go in exquisite. Yeah, the throw one would go in exquisite. So is this one the slow one or is this the fast one? I hate the slow ones, the, the fast ones are fun because it's like a normal grand jeté or soda shop, but you just go way, high. way higher. But the slow ones are, they're not good to me unless you can hold a complete split in the air as he's walking across the stage holding you. To hold that legs in like a split or over split for the entirety of that very long extended jump. It's more of a lift at this point. Yeah. It's not a jump anymore. It, it, it's, it's difficult. And also I don't like this one because 
when they do it slow, oftentimes she gets tipped backwards. You get the unflattering angle. But objectively, it is a staple step because you see it all the time. For the sake of the video, should it be the slow ones or the fast ones? For the sake of the video, and since it says jeté lift rather than soda shot lift, what to assume it's the slow one? What if I could do that? Yeah, what if I could, but on the low end? On the low end. Yeah. Yeah. The last one, the press lift. Press lift is exquisite. exquisite. Uh, where would you put this one? This one's just plain fine. I would put it here. Let's put it there. Okay, we'll put it here. Okay, so technically an angel lift, the other angel lift, and the angel lift with the devil pay are technically all, all press, press lifts. lifts. This is like your standard, like arabesque. your typical arabesque press. Or attitude press. Or attitude press. They're pretty similar. Yeah. It's just plain fun. I don't I know. Like it. it feels like, again, like you're just levitating, you're flying. And this one is fun because oftentimes you get to make eye contact with the audience and, and look victorious really fun. and proud and beautiful. That's the part where they usually start clapping a little bit because yeah. like it looks really impressive but for us as a ballerina, I mean you're holding yourself but you're essentially just like doing nothing and usually they happen like at a very good part in the music too. Yeah, yeah the yeah, climax, like climax or something. So yeah, exquisite. So there's the final tier list, everyone. We have an equal amount of staple steps and exquisite steps. And then scary but impressive, what if I could and not the best, are all three, three, three. And we have one One terrible. terrible. <laughs> respect to all of these steps, even the pas de sclave list. We still respect you. We still respect It's you. okay, it's Don't terrible endearing. Yeah, no. terrible <laughs> endearing. None of pas de or ballet was made to be ugly. It was made to be beautiful and enjoyable and pleasant to watch. So naturally all of these are Lovely steps. Just if you had to be very, very granular and rank them yeah. in a list like this, this was it. <laughs> Pot of Sklav lift. We don't hate you. It's okay. It's okay. Terrible, but you are terrible. <laughs> we hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button. And if you want to see more of our very subjective opinions and tier lists, then make sure you check out our playlist where we did other tier list videos. And of course, thank you to Anna Louisa for partnering it. Partnering. <gasps> for partnering, partnering with, with us. us. <laughs> Anna Louisa is exquisite. Yes. You rank Anna Louisa jewelry in exquisite. Make sure to trust dive into our description box. <laughs> Click the link. <laughs> Click the link and make sure you get your own beautiful sparkly jewelry pieces to give yourself a little treat and show yourself a little love. Anyway, I think that is all from us for now. This is Belly Rain signing off. Until the next video. Bye.